day two of NaNoWriMo. Both kids are here. One is in the living room, the young one watching Kipo on Netflix. We went hunting this morning. It was not a success, kind of glad, kind of not. My son went with us, my older one, and that was his first hunting experience. He seemed to like it, but we didn't see a damn thing except for other hunters. So yeah, it's day two, I haven't written a word. It's almost four or it's four. I haven't written a word, did I say that? Yeah, I haven't, I'm gonna go and write. I'm probably not gonna get any video of me writing because the kid is there and it's a little weird. And I'm sure he'll try to be like, I wanna be in the video. And I don't really want my kid on the video just because I don't want him on the YouTube. Anyway, as you can see, I look terrible, but that's okay. Cause I'm gonna go write and it doesn't matter what I look like while I write. So we'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. Hello, it is November 3rd. Um, yesterday I wrote a whopping 420 words and I did it while my son was watching a cool cartoon called Kipo and he was crying and whining that he was hungry even though he ate half a sandwich. It was an experiment in terror but I wrote 420 words so yay! Um, I have to be at work in exactly two minutes but on a good note even though I wrote 420 words it ended in a way that it needed to finally end, like the, the chapter, not the book. <laughs> That'd be nice if it was over, no. Um, the chapter ended in a way that I didn't expect it to. Finally, it found its ending after a year. And uh, and it went where I wanted it to go, even though I didn't know I wanted it to go there. So yay. Um, we're not perfect, are we? Anyway, I gotta go to work. Um, I'll try to do some more videos. Mm, I don't know when, bye. Hello. I just did some kettlebells, I'm tired slightly over caffeinated and shaky. Gotta go pick up the kids now and go to the store, get something for dinner. I hope I don't have to wash the dishes, but it looks like I'm gonna have to. Who knows when in the flying fuck I'm gonna be able to write today. My dog's pissed at me because I didn't take her on a walk. I don't want to, I'm tired. I wanna take a nap, but I can't. Just look at this beautiful wall behind me. Found that at a thrift store, there's my child, there's me. I'm literally locked in the bedroom it's 3.50-ish. I'm tired and I really don't want to write, but I need to. And I, you know, there's people already documenting. I wrote 6,000 words. Eh. Well, good for you. I wrote none today. Oh, wait, no, I wrote some. I wrote, <laughs> I wrote a page, a whole page. In handwriting. God, I look horrifying. <laughs> oh, God. I wrote a whole page and I don't feel like doing it anymore. Okay, by looking at this, I'd say I probably wrote about 50 words. And they were crappy words too. <laughs> All right, here I go. I'll show you my desk. This is my desk. It's a pillow. Here's my backpack. You can already hear the kid complaining because he's got to do homework with the man today because I got to do some writing. So here I go. Wish me luck. I don't know. I have a tripod somewhere in the truck. I have another tripod in the living room that I don't even feel like setting up, but I should. But then it's just going to waste more time. So I get to have this terrible shot of me, you know, like that, the kind that the most flattering. So I'm gonna look really good in this video. I'm like a big swollen head to inspire me to write, right? Okay. Did the lights just flicker? All right, like. Oh, I can't think.
Five minutes in, I already got distracted by my stupid phone. <laughs> I'm trying to write this and I'm like, is this even the right term for this thing that I'm trying, that I'm writing about? I don't even know if it's the right term, but I'm using it anyway because I don't feel like wasting time trying to find the right one. So I put a big question mark and underlined it so I can look up if this is the right term because I don't feel like it's another distraction, right? I can start looking on the internet and then I'll get sucked in and the next thing you know, I'll be looking at Facebook and thinking about like, oh, did anybody put any new YouTube videos up? Should I look? No, don't look it up. Just keep writing. <laughs> I have Rotini in my bedroom. I need music and background sounds because because I want to. So two and a half pages in and I'm already looking at my phone. Progress. Do you ever get on your own nerves? I know I do. Like now because I'm writing, I'm handwriting. Usually that's how I write. Rewrites is typing. And now I'm like, do I want to handwrite or should I just type? It's easier for me to handwrite because, I mean, it's easy to just take your notebook with you. And I don't feel like lugging a big-ass computer because I don't, I have this uh, oversized MacBook, or MacBook, I wish I had a MacBook, this oversized Chrome book. I like it, but it's kind of big and it's cumbersome. So it's easier just to take this darn notebook with me. <sighs> and my whole plan is to write on this notebook and then rewrite. But right now it's like in between stages. It's some is typed, some is handwritten. So it's like in limbo. I'm just gonna handwrite it. <laughs> it's such a pain in the butt. Wrote two and a half pages. I finished the scene. I don't know if it's good or not. Well, what's the purpose of this scene? It's because I want these two characters to sort of run across each other, but not run across each other. One sees one, the other one doesn't know he's there. I'm like, well, what's the purpose? You know, why? I guess because it kind of, it's building background and all that stuff. I don't know. But let's talk about plotting or pantsing. I am one of those people that's in between. I kind of have a plot, but mostly I'm pantsing. They say you should know what you're doing. I feel like if I know what I'm well, I mean, not that if I know what I'm doing, I'd like to know what I'm doing. If I, <laughs> I feel like if I have the story already all written out, then why would I write it? Do you know what I mean? I kind of want to discover it as I go, but then at the same time, that's just like a formula for failure. <sighs> I don't know. I think maybe I should... <laughs> yeah, it's always an excuse. I think maybe I should uh, wake up early, but I'm not going to wake up. I already have, you know... Oh. Wake up at 4.30 in the morning. You'll have a more productive day. I'm not waking up at 4.30 in the morning. The thing is, is like, I need a break. I need a timeout. But I know if I give myself a break and a timeout, I, I'm not going to go back to her. I'm tired. It's almost 5. I guess that's always my excuse. You know, it's funny because I don't feel like I'm tired all the time. Most of the day, I'm running around and energetic and everything. But then after a certain point, then I'm tired. Is, isn't that normal to get tired toward the end of the day? Do the harder things earlier in the day because... If you wait to do the harder things, you're not going to want to do them. And this is not an easy thing. Anyway, you know what? I'm calling it quits. I wrote two and a half pages. I finished the scene. Tomorrow's another day. <sighs> yep, it's only day three and I already want to give up. Do you feel like you want to give up by day three? Feel free to comment below. Like and subscribe. Hopefully <laughs> the next videos will be a little bit more productive. I think I'm just tired. I think I've said that like 600 times, didn't I?